Extra Care Housing goes one step further from traditional sheltered housing by providing a team of flexible care staff on site. Not everyone living in an extra care scheme will require a care service. For many people it's about living in a safe and pleasant environment, as well as living an independent and active life. Some people want to remain in their own home and the building design or the nature of their needs means that works for them. Other people are going to have to move out of their existing home but actually extra care housing is about a new home, it's about your own home rather than moving into residential care, moving into someone else's home. I'm very passionate about extra care housing and trying to provide more extra care housing right across Cumbria really and for very good reasons. I mean it is the future of housing. It's somewhere I personally wouldn't mind uh, retiring to and it gives people the chance to still own the property or rent it. Uh, so we've different schemes that really give people a lot more choice. Extra care delivers what people have told us they want. It helps people retain their own front door key their independence, the ability to have 24-hour on-site support when they need it, but the ability also to be independent and to keep skills for as long as possible. It gives people the chance to have privacy, but to be able to mix and socialise with other people when that's important to them. It's about choice and it's about giving people control. This extra care housing in Barrow is part of the new Way Cumbria County Council, in partnership with district councils and housing associations, aims to provide social care housing with spacious community facilities for all residents to enjoy, as well as individual apartments, it's become a real home to Rita. I've lived in Barrow since I was born. Set for four years in Australia. I always want to come back to Barrow if I go anywhere. I was in hospital for a while. I had to go home again, but I was no good. I couldn't cope at all. And uh, they came from Carlisle to tell us that they were building this place and showing us photographs and all that sort of thing. And if you were interested to apply, which I did. And it's one of the best decisions I've ever made because it's brilliant. Absolutely, I love it. And I know I haven't got a lot in it, but I don't like a lot in it because I don't like clutter. But it's just got everything. You don't have to reach over, do you, to open and shut your window. You just press a button. <laughs> Wet room's great. You've got your shower, you've got your alarm bell, a non-slip floor. It's just everything that you need. The staff are brilliant, the residents are brilliant. Just can't say a thing wrong about it. Honest to God, I can't. It was about 18 months ago we were up at Heesham Gardens in Carlisle, very much a building site at that point. So now it's full of residents, we've, we've had a grand opening, great communal buildings but also private units, private bungalows which people have bought or rented, giving them freedom of choice and also exceptionally good care provided on site should people require it at any one point. So I think that's the model that we want to see developed throughout Cumbria. It's been really nice to see the project go all the way through and it was really nice to see the cafe busy, to see people having moved in and to see the final few flats being sold to people who really wanted to move in. <laughs> it's a great community feel and I think what we've seen is people coming together at lunchtime, the gardens filling out, really feeling like it's matured compared to when we were last there. I'm June Wilkinson, my husband's name is Bob and we live in Hesham Gardens, Carlisle. I do suffer from arthritis, which is getting worse, much worse. And it was getting difficult to get up and down stairs. And we saw this uh, place advertised and we came to have a look around and very impressed and applied to move here. And we've no regrets whatsoever. It's a lovely compact apartment. This is the lounge. We have two lovely bedrooms and a wet room, which is handy because if we become wheelchair bound, we would still be able to have a shower. We love it here. There's a lovely sense of community. You never feel alone. You're, there's always somebody around to help. There are all sorts of things, um, little things going on, meetings, discussion groups, uh, and we can go out and sit and, and eat our, our lunch or tea or whatever, if we wanted to, 
or just have a stroll around the gardens, the lovely gardens. It's the little things actually, we don't have to remember putting the bins out, we don't have to remember whether we've locked the back door at night and things like that. It, it's a lovely feeling of, feeling, uh, of being secure. Uh, as we are at the moment, we're fortunately independent and we don't need much help, but as things go on, we, we, might, we might feel that we need help and it's available to us, which is nice. One of the great things about extra care housing is because it builds on people's independence and the things that people can still do for themselves. It's actually cost effective for individuals. It's cheaper to live in extra care housing than it is to live in a residential care home. So it becomes the perfect solution for individuals. It's more cost effective, gives them their independence. For the local authority, it's also good news because it actually costs us less money as well and also does what people want, it gives them independence. The future for caring for older people in, in Cumbria is very, very bright. We're going to be encouraging housing associations, local district councils, all our partners in the healthcare sector to put money into extra care housing. And actually changes can be made to existing sheltered housing units and bring it up to extra care standard and it doesn't cost a fortune. What we want in Cumbria really is choice for people as they get into their older years, some independence where they still perhaps own a property or rent a property. Uh, but somewhere where they've got that security of care. A lot of people's families are very concerned about people when they get older and they also need to know that on site there are people who can provide the top level of care that we can offer. I think the future is to continue to develop the larger schemes like Heesham Gardens, like Holker Street and Barrow, but it's also to look at how we can remodel some of our existing sheltered housing schemes. I think the future is one that we need to create for ourselves in Cumbria. It's about having the conversations with local communities. And I think for local communities understanding this, although this is about a change, it's actually about opportunity.